this is uh, going to be a short video for uh, a small trick I want to show you is how to comment out or deselect one of the moves without deleting it. Uh, for example, here in this subroutine, we have three moves, and let's say we wouldn't want to execute this move. We want to auto the robot just to move straight to uh, line number six and then number seven without executing number four. To do that is after you log in as an expert or admin, you have this option open and close fold. You highlight the fold that you want to open, you open it, it opens this uh, specification or parameter for the move that you want to change. The last line is the actual move, is the BTB home, or if, if it's another line, it's gonna say the BTB and the point number, whatever you name it. So those are the actual move. Let's close this, go back to the one we wanna change. So this is, you highlight it, and then you open your keyboard, The more important is you have to be in the, in the front of this line and then you add your semicolon. Let me move the pointer so you can see the semicolon. So I added the semicolon in the front of this line and that it for uh, coming out this line. So now if I close my keyboard, I go up again. So now number four, this move is not going to happen. When I'm in auto and the robot running in auto, this is not going to execute this line when you run this routine. It's gonna jump to number 12 and then 13 and finish. Uh, if, let me close it. So now if I wanna, uh, in, in manual, I wanna test this move, even if it's coming out, I can highlight it, select it, and then execute uh, the move, execute the move, and it will run this move in, uh, in manual. If you, if you want to see what was this move, but then auto is going to skip it. To enable it again, just delete your semicolon. So let's go here and let's open this. Go back to our semicolon. Delete it. And now our move is it's, uh, available again for us to uh, use. So now when I run this uh, subroutine in auto again, it will run this move and then the other one goes next to the next. And uh, that's how you do it.